Reading's community has used TEDx as a means of teaming up to make our small California city more aware through schools and education, businesses and architecture, and, of course, nature. The theme of this year's TEDx Reading event is a little more action. We went out and found some examples of previous TEDx speakers as well as ordinary people and documented the effects of their actions on the community. Students are getting out of the classroom, but they aren't ditching. They're learning. Students are increasingly attending class in gardens at their schools. At this school, students garden daily. James Timer was the principal architect of this campus, Reading School of the Arts, working with his company, Trilogy Architecture. Trilogy focuses on closing the barrier between nature and our living spaces. When you start in architecture, it's about doing buildings. And when you have an opportunity to do something where uh, it really can affect someone, that's what your goal is. He explains to us why he extensively incorporated nature into RSA's architecture. We wanted to create a hole to the sky, a place where every day children would be walking through a space and experiencing nature's expressions. The RSA campus is LEED Platinum certified and is 77,000 square feet, with 50% of it being outdoor space. Clearly connecting with nature has had a significant impact on these students. At University Preparatory School, students have a dedicated gardening class called Sustainable Living. Mr. Bobby Schuffelberger, the man who teaches this class, tells us why he created it and the importance of gardening. It's pretty powerful to, to grow something from seed and then to eventually eat it. Mr. Schuffelberger and the Sustainable Living class's work has greatly impacted the class. Adam Walker, a student in Sustainable Living, explains how the class has affected him. Responsibility is also really emphasized in this class because when you're taking care of a plant, when that plant dies, that plant is dead and that's it. And I think that that could be a really sobering or eye-opening experience for a student to realize that they have that much influence and sometimes they have to take responsibility for what they want to do. It's taking care of something and having that pride in seeing that growth. When they see the development, like when we do some landscaping and so forth, and you see the change that just takes place in, in one day, or the growth of a seed that sprouts, they just see that they can do just anything. Mr. Timer and Mr. Schuffelberger cultivate work ethic and a strong sense of community in the young people of Reading. Their work brings to attention what anyone could achieve if they put in a little more effort.